welcome to another episode of Earning the Hate. What the fuck? Are you serious? I heard this on the news and I figured like the the front got clipped or something and the and the car was bare. They parked the damn police car right over the railroad tracks and sat around and so freaking scared of a freaking woman that supposedly had a road wage. They parked the damn car in a, and then they put her in a car and she gets almost freaking killed? Are you kidding me? Crazy! <laughs> So, okay, for those that don't know, these little things right here is a railroad track. Trains travel on railroad tracks, okay? Trains can't stop. Parking on railroad tracks is a problem. If you remember, I did a previous video to where like six or eight different police cars have been hit by trains and nothing ever happens. Nobody gets fired. They're not held accountable. Taxpayers pick up the bill and life goes on. Well, now, not only does her car get trashed, they put a freaking prisoner in custody against her will, kidnap her, put her in a freaking car. And now she's in there when this train hits. And these cowards don't go in to save her. They just run from the car. What a... Bu I'm telling you, man. Our law... Anybody that comes here and defends these damn cops, just get the hell out of here because I am fed up with these so-called isolated incidents. All cops are heroes. And somehow I'm running around trying to find... Uh, bad stuff on cops. I can't keep up with all the bad stuff on cops. I'm right behind you, Vasquez. I'm going to your passenger side. Nice tattoo. I gotta say that my tattoo people get mad if I crack on them. Dispatch left in 346, one at gunpoint. One at gunpoint. Ooh, that's scary. Oh, look at all those tattoos. Wow. Wow, she's important. It's like it's like she's a walking book. You could just read her whole body. Rick, that's cool, and you're out of touch, and you are a tattooist. Whatever. Driver, let me see your hand. This damn woman's gonna shoot everybody with her tattoos because a bug lands on her. Watch how many times she has total non-muzzle control over her gun swatting freaking bugs. Let me see your hands. I'm so concerned about my life, I have to hold this at gunpoint, but I can take my hand off to swish some bugs away, because bugs are, is a bigger threat than this car. Really? Put your hands off the way. Bugs. Oh, ah, let me, oh, I'm pointing at everybody. Whoop, sorry. Oops, did I laser you? Oh, sorry about that. Oh, bugs. Oh, going down. Mean bugs. Must be up for my tattoo ink. Put both hands off the window. Bugs, bugs, help! Opens the door, rolls down the windows, afraid of the bugs, moves away from the window, in a minute she'll move back behind to where it lessens her field of vision. Bugs. We're giving commands. Her hands are out the window at this time. Wow. Wow, she's good. Bugs, look out! Bugs! Bugs! Ah! Ah! Pointing at everybody. Ah! Look out! Laser! Pow! 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 Oh, sorry. Bug landed on me. Ah! What the hell? Rick, the ponytail police are the best police. All right, whatever. Crazy ass woman. The woman puts the woman in the car. What happened to woman sisterhood? What happened to women looking after women? She's out of the vehicle, hands are visible. Look at her. She she backs away, so now she has a chance if she has to shoot of hitting the frame because she's not up to it. Horrible tactics, more worried about the bugs, tattoos, whatever. Crazy ponytail shit. Bugs! Ah! Ah! Eh, bug! Yep. Oh my god, bug! Help! Yeah. Fast kiss. Let me get away. Let me let the man stand by the bugs. I can't handle it. Notice the man isn't waving his gun everywhere, shuffling bugs. Anybody want to notice that? Rick, that's not fair. The man has bug spray on because he cheated. Okay, whatever. That's fine, baby. Hey. Put your hands up. Lift your hands up. Okay. Turn around. So he's giving commands, trying to control supposedly a dangerous woman because we have to have all these guns on her. 
And this woman's going to come around and want to talk to him. Hey, hey, listen to me. It's me, the ponytail police. Listen to me. Turn around. Turn around. Put your hands up higher. I want you to set your phone down on the edge of your truck. You don't need it. You can leave it on. Come on back. Keep coming back. Keep your hands up. Keep coming back. Keep coming back to the sound of my voice. Keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back, keep coming back. Stop right there. Get down on cuffs. one knee and then the other. I got cuffs. Go ahead. Good? Yeah. Keep your hands above your head. Don't move. What's going on? Does she have black fingernail polish? Don't move. about black fingernail polish before. She does. Oh my god. I'm not a fan of black fingernail polish. But anyway, here we go. What's going on? Why am I being... We'll explain everything in a second. Can I get yes. We'll explain everything. Get out of the car, put your hands up. We got guns at you. We got you kneeling on the concrete. We got you in handcuffs. We're going to put you in a car and have a train freaking run you over. We'll explain it later when you wake up in a hospital. How about that? Cell phone, please. No one else is in the truck, sir. Can I please get my cell phone? We'll get it for you. Don't worry about your cell phone. I'm taking you to the car that's parked on the railroad tracks. In a minute, a train's gonna come by and run your ass over. And I'm gonna I'm gonna call out on the radio. Oh my god! Send medical! The train hit the car! Why? What? Do you have anything on you that's gonna poke me, stick me, hurt me? No, ma'am, but can I please get my cell phone? We'll get your cell phone in a second. Is there any weapons in the car? No, ma'am, there's nothing on There's no weapons in the car? Okay. What's going on? Ma'am, what's going on? I'll tell you in a second. Take a seat. Tell you a second, just get in the car. We gotta lock you in here with, for the train to hit you. I right get I will get You'll be alright. The train, it'll slow down. Get your cell phone for you. Take a seat. I got your right shoulder. We gotta clear this car. Big deal. Oh, clear. I'm scared. Oh my god. It's a truck. Clear. Dispatch looking 348. Okay, so it's cleared. There's no threat. Maybe one cop could go, why don't we move that car off the railroad track? Nah, it'll be alright. If a train comes, it should be alright. Vehicle's clear. You can use the channel. It took her a long time to pull over. I got a holster right here in the passenger seat. Okay. I just... It took her a very long time to pull over. Long time to pull over. Boy, that's enough to get you killed. You take a long time to pull over in this freaking county. Where is this? Freaking Fort Lupin, Colorado. They'll put your ass in a car on a train. How about that shit? That ought to be their freaking motto. You mess around with us, we're the police. We'll put your ass in a car on a train tracks. How do you like them apples? Freaking crazy. Did you see your toss anything? You got three cops searching the car, talking and yapping. And in a minute, you're going to hear a train in the background and a horn honking. Most people would go, hmm, train's coming. I, 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 she could have because it took her a long time to pull over. I'm going to put my rifle away and I'll come back in All right. She could have because... Hear the train? I'm going to go back. Listen for the train. This is a clue. If I can hear it on here, they can hear it there. She could have because... Hear that train? When I was behind her, she was driving slow enough. Yeah. So she could have tossed something, but... I tossed up. it out the window? She could. There's the train again. She could have out that window, but... Who is, is that? There's the train again. Nah, it's all right. We're talking. Should be all right. Heart. No, that's a... Uh... There's a train. A little louder. Oh, time check. Oh. Right about now, they go, oh, shit. She's in the car and the train's on, and the car's on there. Gee, she'll be alright. We can't go get her. We might get hurt. Officer safety. Oh my god! Oh my god! Can you imagine being handcuffed in a car with a train barreling down on you and you can't do shit because government is protecting and serving the shit out of you? Do you know how much money is going to be paid out on this? Out freaking rageous. Just, I mean, this, if this is an example 
of cops don't give a shit about anybody and they get away with everything and nobody cares. They ought to be charged with kidnapping and manslaughter, freaking attempted murder. This is out freaking rageous. Just imagine yourself handcuffed in a car with a train barreling down and you can't do anything. Wow. Move your car! Stay back! Stay back. This guy's like, hey, train's coming. Hey. Hey. Maybe the train will see my bald head reflective light and he'll stop. I'll stand here and maybe try to reflect some light back at him. Well, I gotta get away. Sorry, lady. You'll be all right. I'll come get you afterwards. I gotta back away right now. I don't want to get hit with shrapnel. Un freaking believable. Out freaking rageous. Are you kidding me? This 20 year old woman is handcuffed in a car. Oh my god, the troll car was just hit by a train. Oh my god, I hit my dad. There's bugs on me. Send somebody with bug spray. What the f are you kidding me? Dispatch, Dr. Z46, send us medical emergent. The suspect was in the vehicle that was hit by the train. Gee, now what do we do? How do we cover our ass on this one? Okay, let's say she moved the car. Let's say the car wasn't on it, and she got in it and moved it, and, uh, yep. You guys are freaking idiots! Oh, shit, look. There's my donut that I lost. I, I was looking all over for that. That was that pink-filled, cream-filled donut that I lost the other day. Damn! Look at that damn car. Un freaking -freaking. Watch the fence. Yeah, watch yourself. Don't want to get hurt. Officer safety. We come get you, but we're gonna have to wait for the big red truck. That's their job to get people out of wrecked cars. I know we parked on the railroad track and everything, but you'd be all right. There may still be a firearm in the vehicle. I don't know. Now we're back, looking for the firearm. I don't know how it got cut there. Watch the fence. It looks like the damn fire truck parked in the same damn railroad there tracks. Is a fire truck now on the railroad track? What the hell is going on? You guys are a bunch of freaking idiots! And... There's a little... There's a little... They never find a gun. I don't think. Let me see what it says here. Woman handcuffed. Colorado Bureau investigation. Oh yeah, they're gonna investigate themselves, find out they did nothing wrong. Shocking. I'll, I'll, I'll conclude this investigation right now. Alleged road rage incident involving a gun. While the officers were searching, a train horn can be heard blaring. As it gets closer, one of the officers realizes the car's on the tracks. Gee, nobody realized that before. I realized that as soon as the first video I saw. Began yelling. Suffered serious bodily injuries, including multiple broken ribs, a fractured sternum. The release video also shows officers searching her vehicle. At one point, it's noted that a round was found near the driver's side door and a gun holster was found in the vehicle. No gun. Just before the video, the officer searching can be heard. There's your gun. Hmm. Out freaking rageous. Earning the hate. Feel safe. Cooperate with the government. Talk to them. They're your friends. When they tell you to do something, you should listen. Don't question them. They're in charge. They're the code blue. Back the blue till it happens to you. Out freaking rageous. Earning the hate.